using the veggie chicken bull using the veggie chicken bull bouillon. So a few weeks ago, I started on my journey to find the best plant-based vegetarian chicken replacement that I could find. I started this journey because I recently got done working with bacon to see how, if I could do a really good vegetarian bacon. I think I did. So we made a grapefruit skin chicken that was pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the way that came out. But I wanted to just continue trying to see what we can come up with because we might actually do a blend at the end. So today we're gonna be making one that's pretty common in the veggie world. We're gonna be making chicken, chicken, out of vital wheat gluten. This stuff is about 75 to 80% protein. It's commonly added to bread flours to help improve bread's texture. And it's also the main ingredient in seitan. Seitan is a very common veggie meat replacement. So to make this chicken replacement, we only got a few ingredients. We're gonna keep this pretty simple because I want it to be a pretty mild flavored chicken. We are gonna do vital wheat gluten, nutritional yeast, poultry seasoning, and the not chicken bouillon cubes. So we'll see how these come out. You can use a veggie broth if you want, but I think these are gonna really bring the chicken flavor to it. So we're gonna do two cups of the vital wheat gluten. I'm gonna do about a half of a cup of the nutritional yeast, and we're gonna do about a tablespoon of the poultry seasoning and just mix this together. I'm pretty excited about this one. I think this is gonna be a very chicken-y kind of flavor. So we're gonna need the broth twice. We're gonna boil it in some broth, but we're also gonna mix in broth to make a dough. So I'm going to heat up about six cups of water, and we're gonna use two and a half of these chicken, not chicken bouillon cubes and kind of just stir those up to get our chicken broth. Okay, so that's pretty dissolved. We're gonna just take out about one cup of this broth here. Then I'm gonna add about another half cup, just a pinch over. We want about a cup and a half with about a tablespoon extra of cooler water just to try to kind of cool this down a little bit. We're gonna set this aside, leaving the heat up because we want to bring this to a boil. And then we're gonna add in our broth into the vital wheat gluten, mixing around, making sure that it's all mixed really well. And now we're just gonna kinda knead this together for a few minutes until it's pretty much completely formed together. And the more you knead it, the better the texture it's gonna have. Okay, so this guy is pretty much kneaded together. It got pretty smooth, it's pretty solid. It's gonna be a really good piece of chicken. So this is essentially what you can imagine a chicken breast. When it cooks, it's gonna double in size. So we have to cut these slices to make sense for that. So in this pot, we have about four cups of broth boiling. I'm gonna add an additional two cups to this, two cups of water. We're gonna bring this to a boil, and then for this, let's see if we could just get some slices out of this. Okay, so let's see. We have a bunch of different sizes here, a bunch of different shapes. We'll figure out what works best in the end. I've seen people just tear off like nuggets, but let's drop these down into the boiling water here, the boiling broth. So I'm gonna boil these in two batches. I'm gonna let these guys go for about, about a half an hour. We're gonna do a 15 minute increments and then flip them over. Okay, these things have been in for 15 minutes. They're huge. They have definitely more than double in size. So I'm gonna actually gonna make these a little smaller, I'm thinking. Okay, so the second batch is done. These are a little bit more appropriate sizes than these giant first batch ones. I think these are gonna be a heck of a lot better. It smells like chicken in here. Okay, so the next step is to fry these things. I heard you guys in the last video, I'm not using eggs, I got an egg replacer. You can use whatever egg replacer you like. So in my breadcrumbs, I'm just gonna season them how I like. I'm gonna do some garlic powder, the rest of my garlic powder, some paprika, a few nice pinches of salt, and a hefty, quite a few turns of black pepper. I'm just gonna kinda stir this up. Okay, so I think the oil's almost ready to go, so I'm gonna go ahead and we're just gonna do a flour. Now this is already pretty wet, so we don't have to egg it first. 
But we're gonna go flour, then the egg, then we're gonna go right in the breadcrumb. Now I'm gonna use my little spatula here. Now this egg mixture is way too thick. I followed the instructions. We're gonna have to add just a bit more water. That is way too thick. And we're just gonna fry these until they're golden brown, but let's get moving through this whole batch. Okay, this is exciting. I'm so curious to see how this tastes. Let's give it a cut open and see what it looks like inside. Okay, so I mean, it definitely does not have the texture of chicken. I mean, it doesn't look like chicken on the inside. It's like a spongy type of product and it was very soft to cut through. So let's see what it tastes like. Let's see, did we get close with chicken? Are we gonna, is this gonna be the end of this journey? Let's see. So it is good. I will say there is a lot of chicken flavor there. That was a good texture, it snaps but it is a little spongy, very juicy. I mean, I can see why this is used a lot in the veggie world for meat replacements. Cause honestly, if you threw this a piece of cheese over this, put some marinara sauce over some top of some pasta or something, I bet you quite a few people would probably just eat through this with no issues. I think we have a lot more work to do on this one. We're gonna keep moving, but here it is. This is the Seitan Vital Wheat Gluten Chicken. <laughs> Number two in our journey. If you've made this before, if you're gonna make it, or if you've made anything else that I've ever made, make sure you share it with me over on Instagram. I'm the sauce stash guy. Follow me, friend request me, message me. It's really easy to get a hold of me there right now. So the people listed over here on the side, those are the people that are a part of the sauce squad. The sauce squad is everybody that's over at patreon.com slash sauce stash. So thanks to those guys for always paying for everything that we need to keep this moving. I really appreciate you. Fuck that!